Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to export video for YouTube in Adobe Premiere Pro. This video is sponsored by Videoblocks. Videoblocks offer the largest unlimited download library for video on the web, with over 2 million stock videos, After Effects, and motion backgrounds. With a Videoblocks membership, you can get access to over 2 million clips for 40% off per clip compared to competitive sites and over 100,000 free clips are included within your membership as well. And to top it all off, all memberships come with a 100% royalty free agreement so you can use their videos, after effects and motion backgrounds in all of your commercial projects. From your blog or YouTube channel to films you submit to festivals, this agreement is still even valid even if you cancel your membership. This means that you are protected and cannot get sued by copyright holders when you use videos from Videoblocks. If you're interested, go to videoblocks.com slash holidays or click the link in the description below to get $50 off one year of Videoblocks. So I've created a new project in Premiere Pro and imported my footage into the project panel in the bottom left corner. What we can do is we can drag that video footage onto the timeline and it will automatically create a sequence with the correct settings to match the video footage. So we've created a masterpiece of a video, the project is all finished and we're ready to export. With the timeline window selected, go up to file, down to export and select media. And it will bring up a separate dialog box. You can adjust the size of this here depending on whether you're on Mac or PC. So you can make it take up the full screen and you can also scrub through your video if you wish. Now from the top right corner we get lots and lots of options over here and we can select match sequence settings and it will automatically match the settings of our sequence from the Premiere Pro project. However we're going to deselect this and we're going to select a preset so we can click in this box and we get lots to choose from and if we scroll to the bottom we've got the YouTube presets and we've got 720, 1080, 2160 and we're going to go ahead and choose YouTube 1080p. So if we select this it will then pre-populate all of these settings below so that our video is suitable for YouTube 1080p exporting. And you can also click on this blue text here next to the output name and we can give this video a file name and click save. Now when we click save it won't actually save the video just yet but it will save that file name. And you can of course check whether you'd like to export the video or the audio. And then we get some other settings down here. So we can select audio and all of these have been pre-populated to match the preset that we set up here. But we can change them if we wish. Similarly we can go into video and we can see that the width and the height is 1920 by 1080 so that's all good. We've got the frame rate here of 29.97. And we can deselect that and we can change that to a different frame rate so let's go ahead and select 60. Now you'll notice that the preset now no longer says YouTube 1080p instead it says custom and don't worry everything else is still in line with the preset that we selected but because we changed one of the settings so we changed the frame rate it now says custom. And you can go through and change a few other settings and you can also select render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality just to make sure that the video is exporting at the maximum quality possible. And you can also set source range to entire sequence just to make sure that the entire sequence in your Premiere Pro project is exported. And once you've tweaked the settings for your preset so that you're happy, you just need to go down and click export and I'd definitely recommend making a nice cup of tea because this can take some time and there we go that is how to export video for YouTube in Adobe Premiere Pro as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and I'll see you next time